As they carefully place kokanee eggs into this incubator, teams from King County and the Snoqualmie tribe are hopeful that a safe place to grow will help them survive, swim on to Lake Sammamish, and return to spawn. It's to give them a chance. Uh, the kokanee are, are threatened, they're dying out. King County says kokanee once numbered in the tens of thousands, but because of stormwater flow changes, past hatchery practices, predators, fishing, passage barriers, and lake temperature and oxygen changes, those numbers have declined. But there was really a severe decline we saw in 2017. We had fewer than 20 fish return to all of the creeks in Lake Sammamish. A kokanee work group has been meeting for decades, and in recent years, partners teamed up for emergency actions, like restoring habitats, fixing culverts, treating water, and these egg boxes. The eggs that were seeded today have already begun to hatch. They'll continue growing in this box and will likely leave this outlet around March. From the 20 or so kokanee they counted in 2017, King County says they counted 2,000 this past year. It's hard to pin down exactly what led to the rise because of all the factors involved, but they say it's encouraging news. We sometimes call it the little red canary in the coal mine because it tells us how we're doing. Um, so what's great is that something happened in the last few years that has improved uh, the, the habitat. Still, the Snoqualmie tribe says there's a ways to go. How important it is to the tribe and the history of this area, our, our ancient connection that's unbroken. But more than that, the connection that we all now have in this community. Everyone is connected to this lake and especially to the fish that live here. Near Lake Sammamish, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.